Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Melia Guide, physiotherapist, here to show you how to do a clamshell exercise. A couple things you're going to need, a pillow for your head or some support, a uh, support for your waist, and that's all dependent on your waist to hip ratio, and also possibly a pillow, another pillow, um, and you'll see the use of that in a short while. So coming down onto your side, you always want to go down onto your shoulder first and you want this support to be above your pelvis. So when you're down on your side, pay attention to how much space you have here between the height of your pelvis and your ribs and you want to fill that space in. So just going to use a little support there. Then enough support under your head so your head's in a neutral position. I won't need this cushion yet. Now, if I could imagine the back of my head, the middle of my spine, and the middle of my sacrum creating a straight line, that's where I want my feet to be, in that same line. My pelvis is going to be rolled slightly forward, so I can either keep my top hand here to ensure that I'm not rolling back while I do the exercise, or sometimes just by simply bringing the top hand in front and ensuring that you're keeping your weight forward is enough of a cue for you. Now, a lot of my clients find this uh, challenging on their wrists, so coming forward on your knuckles. Now, the next important things with learning a proper clamshell is the position of your feet. So if my feet are side by side, in the same, like with the toes touching, heels touching, there's less of an anchor for my top foot. So I want to slide my top foot forward about a half an inch. And now my foot is going to sit right underneath the inner ankle bone of the bottom foot. That's where I'm going to push in that little gully that's created there between your heel bone and your ankle bone. So this is where we take our breath in and then we blow as we think about lifting the knee towards the sky. Now, most people don't realize that the muscles that lift your knee towards the sky have nothing to do with your knee whatsoever. They're trying and thinking, how do I activate that motion? Those muscles come from deep in your buttock. So it's so very important that you are able to visualize or even feel the muscles, or both, um, getting your hand right in the center of your buttock so that when you do that exercise we'll be bringing that hand right back after but for right now I want you to, be able to feel those muscles that you're using take your breath exhale start to lift now you're pressing your top foot into your bottom foot you should feel muscles tightening deep in your buttock even if you're just lifting off two inches that's Great, as long as you're using those deep muscles. Visualizing that muscle pulling on the uh, top part of your femur as it rotates the knee up to the sky. All right, so let's bring the hand either back to the pelvis or right back to the floor to ensure that you stay in good form. Your foot is back in the gully just below the inside ankle bone, breath in and blow, inhale back down and blow, inhale back down. Now as you're doing this, if you're finding that you can't go very high and it's very hard to do, then that's okay. What we're going to use this pillow for is to give you a helping hand. So when you have really wide hips, it's a really hard thing for that muscle to work. You know, they're already stretched and they're having to lift really high. Now my knees and my hips, I'm not very hourglass shaped. So my knees and hips are almost at the same height. But for some of you, your knees are far lower. So putting a pillow between your knees is going to give you that little boost that you need. It's going to help get the muscle stronger and eventually you won't need that pillow. So breath in, hand either at your hip, keeping it forward, 
or at your waist, breath and blow. So that's giving your muscle a little boost. You could do half of your set with the pillow. So if you were up to doing six repetitions, you would do three using the pillow and three without the pillow, gradually four and four and five and five. And with time, you will find that just by virtue of having had the pillow there, that your muscle is then able to go through the full range of motion that is available in your body. People often ask me, why do clamshell exercises if I have a knee problem? Well, clamshells are so very important, not just for the hip, but for the knee. Because as you'll see, when we get up and down from surfaces, and you know, you'll see me demonstrating this in how we do squats properly, those clamshell muscles are the ones that keep our knees apart and in good alignment so that we don't put additional stress on our knees when we're getting up and down from chairs or going up and down stairs. Have a lovely day.